Welcome back. This is part uh, alpha of uh, chapter two in Athenes, Xanthias, and I will read through the text, which you can see here, then I will provide a translation, and then I will um, go through each line several times to kind of try to drive it into our brains, and then after that, I will read the whole thing again at the end, and hopefully all of us together have acquired the ability to uh, mostly understand what we are seeing then. So our text today says, I'm going to make it just a little bit larger for my elderly eyes. Ovikiopolis egveni ectu iko ke kaliton xanthian. Oxanthias, dulus estin, ischiros menanthropos, argoste, uyarponi, I mi paresten odikiopolis, nin de cathevdi ento ico, o undikiopolis, cali afton ke legi, elefte defro, oxanthia. Ti cathevdis, mi utos argos istia las pevde, o un xanthias vradeos egveni ectu ico ke legi, ti i uto halepos o despota, u yar argos i mi. Alla idis pedo, o de vikiopolis legi, el te defro ke si lamvane, eri yar to artron, arotron, ke feri afto prosto agron, ego yar elefno tus vus, alas pevde micros men yar esteno agros, macros de oponos. All right, so we will go back and kind of try to take a look at what is happening here in this story. So our very first line, I'll read the whole first sentence. Odikiopolis egveni ectu iku. Let's just stop there. So Odikiopolis egveni, he comes out from the house, out from his house. Odikiopolis egveni ectu iku. Odikiopolis comes out of his house. Odikiopolis egveni ek tu iku, iku house. Odikiopolis egveni ek tu iku. Ke kali tong xanthian. And calls xanthian. He calls out to xanthian. Ke kali ton xanthian. Ke kali ton xanthian. Ke kali ton xanthian. So the whole first line then is Odikiopolis egveni ek tu iku ke kali ton xanthian. Odikiopolis comes out of the house or out of his house and calls to xanthian. Oxanthios lulus estin. So this is kind of like a narrator speaking. It says that uh, Xanthias is a slave. He's a slave. He's a servant or a servant. Slave, slave servant. Oxanthios lulus estin. Ischiros menanthropos. On the one hand, so men is like, uh, on the one hand, uh, ischiros, uh, so it's like a post-positive. You see that a lot in Greek, uh, or in ancient Greek anyways, not so much in modern Greek, but uh, in ancient Greek or biblical Greek, you see the post-positives used quite frequently. So, ischiros men anthropos. Ischiros is strong. He's strong on the one hand, a man, uh, meaning like, on the one hand, he's a strong man. Argos de, uh, and then you, the next line is, uh, but he's lazy. Argos they. So that they is a, also a post, um, like a post description, meaning, uh, but he's lazy. So the, uh, you know, next part here, Oxanthias. Oxanthios dulus estin, ischiros menanthropos argos uh, uh So Xanthias is a servant. Uh, on the one hand, he's a strong man, but he's lazy. Oxanthios dulus estin, ischiros menanthropos argos de. Oxanthios dulus estin, ischiros menanthropos argos de. All right, so let's move on. We'll do that last little bit of the second line and move on to the third line. Uyarponi i mi paresten odikiopolis. Um, so another post positive, uyar. So the yar is like four. So four, and then the u is a negative. So u, uh, u yar poni, for he does not work. U yar poni, for he doesn't work. I me. Um, this, you'll see later in this section, i me, meaning I am. And in this case, they're separated. So i me, i me. Um, meaning, um, yar for he does not work unless, imi is like unless, imi, unless. 
uyarponi imi parasten odikiopolis, unless dikiopolis is present. So parasten is present in odikiopolis, we know. So uyarponi imi parasten odikiopolis. Uyarponi imi parasten odikiopolis. All right, so hopefully we have that one down. Let's uh, go on to the next line, and then we'll do the second and third lines together. Nin de kathevdi ento iku. So nin, so now, uh, now, uh, but and now, or but now, uh, another post positive, nin de. So, and now he is sleeping in the house. What kind of servant is this? Xanthias. Xanthian. Xanthias. He's, uh, you know, he has a pretty good gig going on, I guess. He gets to go to sleep in the house while his, um, while his employer is outside working. Nin de kathevdi ento iku. Now, he, and now he is sleeping in the house. Nin de kathevdi ento iku. Nin de kathevdi ento iku. So let's go through the second and third line. I'll, I'll do the O from the first line at the very end there. So, Oxanthias dulus estin, iskiros menanthropos argoste. O yarponi i mi parestin odikiopolis. Nin de kathevdi ento iku. All right, and moving on to the fourth line, I'll, I'll, of course, the, the O, the, um, uh, the O is at the very end there, that is, uh, important. So, O, un, dikiopolis, kali of tun ke legi. So, um, therefore, O, un, O, dikiopolis, or O, un, dikiopolis, and therefore, dikiopolis, our, our friend here, he calls out, he calls him and says, kali of tun ke legi, O, u, O un dikiopolis kali of ton ke legi. O un dikiopolis kali of ton ke legi. O un dikiopolis kali of ton ke legi. And what does he say? He says, El fe defro oxanthia. Which is, uh, come, come defro. Come here, come defro. Come here, come hither. El fe defro, come hither, oxanthia. Elthe defro oxanthia. Elthe defro oxanthia. And then we see uh, it doesn't break it up, but xanthia responds. Oh, no, no, he's still talking to, to xanthia. Sorry. T kathevdis. Why are you sleeping? So T in uh, modern Greek usually means what in ancient Greek? I, I see it normally when you see it. It, it more means like why? What, what are you doing? What, why is this happening? T. It's like a question, but t kathevdi still has the question element, but it's a little more general, I think. And in this case, it's been a specific means. Why are you sleeping? Kathevdi sleeping. T kathevdi. T kathevdi. Why are you sleeping? Mi utos argos isti alas pevdi. Don't be. Uh, don't be so lazy, but hurry up. Mi utos argos. Mi utos argos, don't, don't be so lazy. Uh, isti is like, isti is like be, to be, it's, uh, is kind of like. Uh, mi utos argos isti a la spevde. Spevde is, um, hurry up, you know, make, make it quick. Alas, but, a la spevde, but hurry up, but hurry. Um, mi is a, a negative don't, utos, utos argos. Mi utos argos isti a la spevde. Ti kathevdis. Why are you sleeping? Mi utos argos isti alas pevdi. Don't be so lazy, but hurry up. Okay, so I'm going to do the last two lines that we see there, beginning with the O on the line above the last two lines. But O, un dikiopolis kali afton ke legi. El te defro oxanthia. Ti kathevdis. Mi utos argos isti alas pevdi. All right, so we kind of have a break in the line here as we go down to the next page. But we see it says, O un, there's that therefore again, O un xanthias. So xanthias is going to kind of, we're going to see how he responds to this now. O un xanthias, vra deos ek veni ek tu iku ke legi. So he says something there. He says, and he says, but uh, O un, therefore, xanthias. Uh, slowly comes out, walks out or comes out of the house, comes out ek tu iku, out from the house, ek tu iku ke legi, and says, vradeo, slowly, ek veni, walks out of the house, ek veni, from the house, he ek venis out of the house, o un xanthias, therefore xanthias, vradeo, ek veni, ek tu iku ke legi, 
Therefore, Xanthias walks out of the house and says, O un Xanthias vradeos ek veni ek tu iku ke legi? O un Xanthias vradeos ek veni ek tu iku ke legi? O un Xanthios vradeos ek veni ek tu iku ke legi? What does he say now? Let's see. It's in quotation marks. It's this nice, a very modern English type thing. They have quotation marks there. Ti i uto kalepos. Why? So T is a why here again. Why are thou so hard? Why are you hard, O despota, O master? So at the end of despota there, you see um, the little semicolon, which in Greek is a, is a sign of a question. I don't know that ancient Greek had that that way, but uh, definitely in modern Greek, you see it as a, used as a question. Um, so, T i uto halepos, O despota. Why are you so hard, master? doesn't seem very hard to me, given that he was sleeping in the house, so he's supposed to be outside helping his master, but, you know, whatever. You know, the guy clearly has a different set of expectations. We can say he's part of the, uh, what are you, he's a millennial. He's part of, the, part of the millennial generation. I'm sad to say I also am part of the millennial generation, but, ti i uto halepos o despota. Ti i uto halepos o despota. Ti i uto halepos o despota. U yar argos imi, Allah idi spevdo. You see imi there, meaning I am. U yar argos. Another post positive with a u yar. So u is like not, I am not. Yar is for. For not lazy am I. It would be like the imi. So u yar argos imi. For I am not lazy. U yar argos imi. U yar argos imi. Ugar argosimi. But I am already hurrying up. Ala ivi. Ivi is already. Ala ivi spevdo. Spevdo hurry up. I am already hurrying up. Ugar argosimi. Ala ivi spevde. Okay? So let's uh, start a little bit before that. Um, he says, uh, going back up to the next line, O un xanthias vradeos ek veni ek tu iku ke legi. Ti i uto kaliposo despota. U yarargosime ala ivi spevdo. All right, spevdo. I don't know if I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't know if I remember pronounced that correctly before. Spevdo. Spevdo. Okay. So let's move on. O de vikiopolis legi. But or and, could be either way. O de vikiopolis and vikiopolis says, won't go through that one too much because we see that all the time. El de defro. We see that again. Come hither. Come here. And silamvane, and help, silamvane, silamvane. That's in the uh, uh, vocabulary that's listed, I think, below, below this area. Oh, yeah, right here, down at the bottom, right about the middle of the page. I can't highlight things with this one, I just realized. So uh, you see, right, th oh, too far in. Silamvane, help, help, silamvane. Uh, so, kind of a newer word. I don't think we've seen that one, in, at least in this thing, in this uh, text before. Elfe defro ke silamvene. Elfe defro ke silamvene. Ke silamvene. And help. Come here. Come hither. And help. Eri yar ton arotron. Um, lift, for lift up, or for, for you should lift up, or for lift the... Um, uh, what's it called? It's like a plow. The plow. Yeah, plow. Arthron. The lift or lift the plow and carry this to the field. Arotron. The arotron is the plow. Are yar to arotron. Ke ferry and and carry. Ke ferry. Ferry. Afto and carry this. Proston argon. Pro, to agron. Sorry. Argon is um, lazy and Agron is field. So don't confuse those like I just did. I guess I'm glad I did that because I wanted to kind of point out that they're very similar sounding words. Proston agron. Agron. Proston agron. Towards the field. All right? That line again. Elfe defro ke silamvane. Come here and help. Are yar ton arotron ke feri afto proston agron. Um, for lift up this plow or lift up the plow and carry it towards the field. I think it was in the picture that was up there as well, if we look. Uh, yeah, you see he's carrying the plow here, and on the left-hand side you see um, Vikiopolis is like driving the, the, the cow or the, the cattle. They just, I don't know if they just have one. He does say it's a small farm, so maybe. 
Um, ego yar. So I'm I'm moving on to the the next part though. After prost on agron, we're on the second to last line about the middle, the middle section there. Ego yar elefno, elafno, elafno, elafno tus vus. Tus vus is the cattle, so it's multi plural. Tus vus, the the cattle. Um, ego yar for I am ego yar elafno. I am driving. Elafno is like driving. I think that's another vocabulary word, either down below or above somewhere. Elafno tus vus for I am driving the oxen. Ego yar elafno tus vus. Ego yar elafno tus vus. Alas pevde. Mikros men yar esten o agros, makros te oponos. Um, but hurry, for I am driving the cattle a las pevde. But hurry, and he wants him to hurry because mikros men, there's men on the other hand again, mikros men yar esten o agros, for on the one hand, the, um, the small, mikros, on the one hand, small, for on the one hand, small is the the field; uh, they don't have a lot of land. Macros de oponos, great, but great. They is a post positive or post. Uh, it's not a positive; it's a post descriptor. Um, but great is the work. So oponos, the work. Macros de oponos, great, but great is the work. Alas pevde, but hurry. Micros men yar esten o agros. For on the one hand, the the work is small. Word order there is is way different than you would see in English. Micros small men on the other hand yar for esten is and o agros the the field. Micros uh, men yar esten o agros. For on the one hand, the the field is small. Macros de oponos, but great is the work. Macros great. They but oponos uh, work. Alas pevde, micros men yares teno agros, macros de oponos. Alas pevde, micros, alas pevde, micros men yares teno agros, macros de oponos. All right, so hopefully you have picked up some vocabulary with that. I am um, looking at either adding these to uh, memorize, which is where I've been putting the vocabulary phrases, just short phrases, just the way I, I break these up. And I've been doing that at Memrise, but I was thinking about putting this um, this one on Anki instead. Um, Memrise is preferable when I'm recording these, but I, I'm not sure I'm going to record these. Or maybe I will make it just exactly the same. But uh, just this one, uh, just to read through it, hopefully you can recognize at least most of this now. O dikiopolis egveni ectu iku ke kali tong santion. Ok santias dulus estin. Eskiros menanthropos argoste, uyar poni, i mi pares de nodikiopolis. Nin de katevdis ento iko, o undikiopolis kali of ton ke legi. Elte defro oxanthia, ti katevdis, mi, mi utos ar, argos istia las pevde, o un xanthias vradeos egveni ectu iku. Ke legi, ti i uto kalipos o despota, u yar argos i mi ala ili spevdo, o de vikiopolis legi, el te defro ke silamvane, ari yar tol arotron, ke feri avto proston agron, ego yar elaf, elafno tus vus, ala spevdi mikros min yar esteno agros, macros de oponos. All right, so you guys take it easy. That is Athenes, chapter 2, part alpha. And I will see you once we, uh, I get ready to post the uh, beta section. And uh, look out for more biblical Greek videos uh, and aside from this. And you guys take it easy.